G'day. Last month there was a few questions about video editors. So, doing a review on video editors and basics and how to use them. Uh, a few that I use, after using about a dozen, I've culled them down to about four. I don't use this one anymore, but Vitamux was one of my favourites. It is not user friendly. It is hard to use, but you get as close to 100% video quality at the end of it as you're going to get out of any freeware or any paid video editor. Uh, with the Vitamux, as with any video editor, make sure you copy all your stuff from your uh, SD card onto your hard drive and work from that. And for just basic cutting and joining and of your videos, it's great. The Vitamux, you can do, uh, you can make your own uh, cartoons, make your design your own 3D figures. It is endless, but is extremely hard to use. So uh, it's Vitamux. Freemake Video Converter is also a video editor. I still use it today, and I'll be editing this video using it. Uh, you just get your icon, click on it, loads up, do, do, do. you pick your video, you put it in, go into your edit section, and decide what you want to cut out, there you go, cut that out, press, press OK, and you choose the format you want it to be finished with, MP4. Um, and then you choose the size. This is really good for reducing size. Uh, you click custom. So here we go. I can convert it down one tenth of its size. Uh, originally it started off at over 700 megabytes, so I convert it down to 60. So that's that done. Um, Even if you uh, were to pick um, two-pass encoding, low speed, the video quality at the end of this is not that good. It's at the best you get is about 90% of the video quality. Uh, but it is free and it is so easy to use, and you can cut tons of uh, data out. Even if you choose uh, to be 100% of the data that it originally started with, it will still only be about 90% of the quality. Okay. Uh, box. Another one is the YouTube video editor. You go to upload, and then uh, you go to do, do, do edit. It is a bit glitchy. Uh, in some ways, it's hard to use, but you can do a lot, um, including transitioning of videos. We can uh, make the video seem more fluid rather than just stop, start, stop, start. Uh, we'll come, so that's that one done for basic review. The one I've paid for, that's all, the, all those were free. The one I've paid for is Cyberlink Power Productor. Power Product Producer, Power Director. <coughs> Cyberlink. Um, Power Director. Uh, this you can do everything in. Cost me a hundred dollars. It's supposed to be a Sony Vegas rival. Uh, I haven't used Sony Vegas. People rave about it. I don't rave about this. It's good. Uh, the end product it depends on how much, uh, in how much in video enhancements and adjustments you make. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Choose something. And you can go and do all these fixes and enhances and do lights and light adjustments in the video. And the more of these you do, the more the quality keeps dropping off. Uh, in the end, 
I don't use all these any, anymore. I just use my video camera with a filter, a UV filter or a tinted filter on the front, and it gives me an excellent video quality, so I don't need to go back and do all this stuff. And uh, so that's this one pretty much done. Okay, that was the quick view review done. One of the ones I have used and is readily available and I do not like is the Windows video editor. I do not like that one. I have not liked it. And it and, but uh, many people do. A lot of people do. So, uh, Windows has got a free video editor. You can give that a shot. So that's the, the basic, basic review done. So we'll go back to Vitamux. That's where we started off. Uh, I don't have it on this computer anymore because I use the Cyberlink for all that. With um, a Vitamux, uh, Major Geeks is a good site to download stuff. Not as many, if any at all. I, I don't get, I haven't used it for a while, but when I was using and downloading lots of stuff, I didn't get any junk or viruses from them. So, uh, Vitamux from Major Geeks, so you download a Vitamux uh, and when you're using a Vitamux uh, the first issue you'll come with is not being able to split a video between frames there's information on how to do that on YouTube a little bit tricky but uh, once you do it right and you figure out how to do it uh, and save every time after you do it every time you uh, split a video and, and remove something or move it, the video to another link a part of the video to another location, you press save. If you've done something a little bit wrong, you'll say, I can't save it. And then you'll uh, take it backwards a couple of steps and then uh, figure out what you did wrong and save. Rather than do one hour of video editing, press save, and it says you can't save because there is a, it's a frame rate conflict and you don't know where it is. You start again. Uh, but yeah, can happily uh, recommend a Vitamux because uh, as long as you save after each edit uh, you'll end up with something which is amazing video quality uh, uh, as long as your original video was amazing quality to begin with uh, this is this this is the one I'm going to be using uh, to edit this video so you bring in a video uh, you press edit you press play. Well, I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so say I wanted to mix it, miss out the first bit at the beginning. I'll just uh, click here. The blue's lit up. Click delete. Now my video it won't start off with the beeps. It'll just start off here. Come through here. Now I don't like this bit. I'm going to pull it out. Put down this for the cut. Find out where you want to the next part of the video to start. Oh, here looks pretty. Cut. I press pause and then press the scissors for cut. Uh, this video editor uh, has a glitch where the faster you edit and the more things you are doing while you're editing, it will crash. So just take it slow. So I've done that. I'll bring it back a little bit and you'll see that I've uh, chopped a bit out. Uh, so you go through and you press OK. Uh, you can edit the audio. So I'll go to no audio. And now I'll go to uh, edit audio. And I'll pick some music. Uh, two pack. Uh, better days. There we go. Now that's in there. So we'll go and see what happens. Uh, we got no noisy, 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 or propellers in there. Uh, there was another audio editor, I think it was called File Hippo, Audio Hippo. I'll have to have a look and put it up there for you. That, um, that way you could blend in, uh, music and um, quadcopter sound together. Um, 
and that's one of the things you could have done there. Uh, but you can also do that through YouTube video editor. Okay. Video. So we got that, we got that. Now we want to save that to MP4. We'll click down here. Um, you get to choose where you receive it. Uh, this is a good in regards that it'll go to the last location you save something and um, give the option of saving in that location like uh, my videos water bug type of thing. Uh, so this is just like a little test video so uh, type in something here test video video review Cool. So there we go. Test video review. Always put in a, a title that is relevant to the video you're doing, because in a week's time you will say, "Hey, I put that video up. I want to do some editing on it," and you will not be able to find it, because they'll all just be numbers and random bits of messages, and it'll give you the shits. Um, two pass encoding usually, but I want this to be quick, so I'll just pick the one pass. It says the output here will be done at 920 by 1080, which is what it went in at 25 frames a second. Here, I, this is, I love this for reducing file size. Uh, I have a limited data, so instead of this video being 700 megabytes, which is three quarters of a gig, I can drop it down to 56 gigs, which is just lovely. So I'll put in there 60. So 60 megabytes, locked in, remove branding, you can only remove branding if you pay for it, this came in about six months ago, the branding, but um, you're using their firmware that they built for free, uh, stick the branding on the front and the back, I don't, I don't mind, I actually quite like it, I feel like I'm supporting them. Uh, if it annoys you, uh, and you're putting this video on YouTube, you can use video, YouTube Video Editor to cut the front and back off, to cut the branding off. So there we go, we've got this, got that. Same source code here. Convert. Put the branding on there, no worries. So now you come to this screen, which where you can uh, shut down the uh, computer at the end if you're doing a, like a huge video. That, that could affect you. Uh, so we've got the free make one. Let's have a look at YouTube Video Editor. YouTube video editor is really good, a little bit complicated. Um, so what you do is you go to upload and you go to edit, and it comes up here. It'll come up as my editor. It'll say this type of stuff and can't find this and do that. So you tick new project. Okay, so I'll drag this one over here. This will be our new project. While it's getting itself sorted, type in a title that's suitable. So we're just doing the test uh, video editor review. Okay, so with with this video editor, you get options depending whether or not you're editing the clip. You can see we get different options here now. Or if you're editing the whole video, you end up with um, different options. So this will be audio for the whole whole video you can choose something if you're in clip and you choose audio it'll be audio for the clip okay so you should click here and now I can click to add a second video onto the back
So there we go, this is the second video, and at the moment I've chosen the clip, and I can um, I can choose different things, I can put in text on this clip. This is more of a banner, it runs more so through the whole video and it's quite large and a bit annoying. Here I've clicked to do the whole video, and I can choose music to put over the whole video. While you're editing your video, you've got a screen here, this will not be your video quality. When you finished uh, doing what you want to do with the video, you click create video. And up here it will uh, leave wait for a while. So I, it's going to take a little while. What we're going to do is go back to my free make and see what's happened there. Okay, conversion was completed. Successful, okay. And I'll tell you the in folder. So now, if you want to upload this to, uh, sit there. If you want to upload this to YouTube, it makes it easier to find upload. Let's have a look at this. This is the uh, icon I put at the beginning. And you can see, oh, what about the bugger? There you go. Now, because I've chosen a very low video quality, you'll notice there'll be bricking around here. Maybe not on this camera, but it's like uh, bricking because I've chosen a very low video quality. Even if I chose a very high video quality through 3Make, it still won't be as good as the original. And then you take this up to YouTube, and then it cuts a little bit more of the video quality out of it again with YouTube. I use the, the free make for just basic videos like I'm doing here, where the uh, where we're not really looking for a scenic video, just a how-to video. Wouldn't really be using the free make if you're trying to make a, a, a freestyle video or a, a real scenic video of uh, the countryside. So that's Freemake finished with. Uh, my one, I might use. Cyberlink. Now with uh, Cyberlink. So then only end up with maybe 95% of the video quality as long as I don't go and do a whole lot of uh, editing stuff like this. Um, so all of these will start again. New project. No. So one of the things you can do with uh, top end video editors is you can um, save it as a project. So what this will do will be a real quick save and it will um, record what you've done during your the edits you've done, where you've chopped, where you've um, changed colours, all that sort of stuff. It'll save it in a tiny little file that'll take about 10 seconds to save. This will just be raw information about what you've done and not the whole video. And it will be in relation to where the raw data is saved. So if you've done all your video editing from your SD card, and then you pull your SD card out and put it in your camera, and the SD card is not in the computer anymore, you'll come over here to Open Project, and it won't be there. It'll say, can't find data, data corrupted, blah, blah, blah. Because it's looking for your SD card, which is all the raw data used to create the video and it's looking to apply all the little cuts and, and color variations back to where it was so always take your SD card plug it in computer copy to the hard drive and save and do all your work from that that way later on you'll come back to your computer you'll press open project and you'll be able to continue video editing without any tears 
Uh, show you some basics on how to use this because this it's really nice to use. Uh, let's see, MV library. Let's bring in something. Import media files. Go to this one here. I've already edited this. Down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do this. this one. Come on. So bring in here. And it'll always tell you this. Uh, when the frame weights aren't perfect and they're not. Let's see, 23 frames a second is the video I've imported, and 25 frames a second is what it is able to process at. So it's not quite perfect, but it'll do. Uh, there we go. So I've decided I don't want the quadcopter to be on the ground and then lift off, so I can just click click on split and click on the pit I don't want and I can come up here to remove I can either remove and leave a gap or remove and fill a gap I'm going to fill the gap which means all this drops down a little bit there we go so now the video will start off here uh, what else Press pause on this. So we're going to split a video and put a blend in. Split here and down here. There we go. These are all the lovely blends, and this will help a video be smooth. So let's pick this one here, and this will blend in the previous segment to the new segment. Right, we'll pull him down here, put him on there. And we'll kick in. And it'll look pretty. It'll doesn't look quite as impressive there because the segment there was no real change. So let's let's put in a massive change. There we go. That's something massive. Uh, split. We'll remove all this. Remove, remove, and fill the gap. Cool. So now, let's see something a little bit more impressive. Let's see two separate videos, but it'll look like it's supposed to transition. You know, it'll be a little bit more welcoming. Because if I was to take that out, remove. Move. It'll just be all of a sudden, and it doesn't look nice. Crap. Clang. Okay. Um, a lot of different effects and stuff. Uh, I'll, the beginning ones. Yeah, yeah, that's quite nice. So what we'll do is, I'll choose both these, drag them up a bit, I'll choose something nice like this, and this will be the, this will be the start, so the video will start up like this. And you can put all your titles and all that sort of yeehaw in there. And then as it comes through to the video, it will transition through. It makes for a nice start of a video. A uh, lot more to this. Uh, this thing has in built in audio editors. Uh, you can. You can. Uh, Edit the audio, and you got two different types of audio editors to, to choose from. These are all, all, you can update these. Give you different options. This is a bit more technical than I get into. Uh, you'd have to be a little bit more hardcore than me to, to start using these sorts of things. Uh,
it's very well linked. So once you finish doing what you want here, you just press close and it will do the adjustments in the video for you. It, it, it detects here that I haven't actually done anything and therefore it's not going to change anything. Do you wish you could continue? Yes. So I'll get dropped back to the video editor. Um, audio you can also do in here. So we'll drag this down a bit and make this a little bit more obvious, a bit easier to see. So you, you pick the line of audio here and you can reduce the volume and it tells you what you're reducing the volume. It's a little bit hard to use to get down to that minus 18, but that's what I usually put into, uh, that's the usually the, what I, I set my, my videos to is minus 18, it gets rid of most of the prop noise. Uh, with the update to this, if you drop the drop it down at the front, drop the audio adjustment down at the front, it takes it through that whole clip and drop it down at the end here. It's a bit hard to get it on that 28, 18 is what I usually do. And you can see here the level of audio noise has been reduced to this small amount compared to what it would normally be back here. If you decide, oh, look, oh I've made some mistakes, I didn't mean to do that, you come up to here and it undoes the changes for you. Uh, that's most of what you'll be doing. So we go over here to produce. The annoying thing about this, it doesn't save your last features. It doesn't save what you normally do or what you did last time. You have to come back to it. And it doesn't give you the first option as being what the video is actually in, which is in um, H.264, which is what YouTube likes. And it doesn't automatically put it into MP4. You've got to then collect that. And then it puts it in the worst video quality that there is. It doesn't put you in the same video quality that you started off with, which is 24 frames a second. Uh, 1080p. So you've got to click that which for a paid video editor it should do all that for you, should save your last settings and just pop you straight back in there. Um, and it doesn't find out where the folder came from or, or where you last saved your last video edit, it just keeps trying to stick it into Cyberlink, which is where I never stick anything. Uh, so go back to videos and then I can uh, save it in here somewhere. Uh, well, Choose, always choose something appropriate. So this is just a uh, 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 video editor for YouTube. Video editor for YouTube. Cool. I'll save that. Um, I haven't noticed any difference from these. You can watch it while, while it's getting uh, produced, but I uh, don't want to, don't ever do it. Uh, it takes longer, don't need to do it. Cool, I'll press start. It'll tell you the time remaining here, but it's sort of like a bit of hit and miss. Sometimes it starts off at five minutes and then works for about half an hour. And sometimes it starts off at uh, a minute and then drops down. So looking good. So we'll go back to this one here. It says it's 63% done. So it says now. Come back for a while. 64% done. My channel. Oh, video manager. Sometimes this won't pop up here because you just started it and YouTube doesn't have it on their files or something because it's yours. It's too early in the processing stage. Once this thing is finished processing, it still might not pop up that well, still might be a bit glitchy. 
but you will not get 1080p for at least 20 minutes. Now when you first watch it, it'll be on 360p and it will look terrible. Don't freak out. Um, YouTube is still editing your video and it is still editing it up to a higher and higher quality. So eventually you'll get it at 720p, 1080 uh, and uh, 1444 if you're lucky. You'll get it to the highest quality that you're, you're able to put in, which is uh, 1080p for me. Uh, sometime, and uh, this one might be 60 frames a second too. So when you first look at your video, you're really eager and it looks like crap, don't freak out. Uh, come back in 20 minutes and it'll look pretty. Okay, so we're finished with the VitaMax. Freemake.com, that's where you get Freemake from when you download it. Um, pick Advanced for installation, so you can pick not to have all their junk that comes with it. Uh, there's no viruses, but they do try and spam you with crap. Uh, and just pick Advanced and you won't get any of that. Uh, one of their options under Advanced is after you tick Advanced is uh, basically two buttons. Uh, do you want all the junk or just install Freemake? <laughs> it's like, that's advanced. Uh, so it's pretty easy advanced in Freemake. 85% of what's motoring along. Okay, let's see. So time remaining. It says here, back to edit page. Producing movie complete doesn't like, give you the option just to click onto it and look at it. It's pretty incomplete. And considering it's number 13, yeah boys, you should have done this by now, man. You should be so good. Click, let's watch it. Click. Uh, it's, you know, very lean in some respects, that. Power Director 13, okay. Let's go videos. I don't know, let's save it under. Uh, I think it's this one here. No. Yeah, see what I mean? I'm going back in my um, videos. So it's just not in a videos video editor. SD13 video video editor. Yes, videos, video editor. Here it is, straight out. There we go, nice transition. Um, image quality is still fairly good. I, I can see it with my own eyes that it has come down a little bit, but. And yeah, happy with that one. Well, I'm not going to tend to use it, it's just for this uh, little video thingy. Cool. So I'll close down Power Director. Uh, do you want to save? No, I do not. Okay, we're up to 95%. This last 5% takes a long time, so I'm just going to turn this off and turn it back on. Get 10 minutes. Ten. Oh, so I'm back here on YouTube. I don't know, I haven't seen this before. I'll click on a video. Okay. So when you want... So up here, when you want to uh, uh, show your friends your video, make sure you've got the watch symbol. If it's uh, the watch word in there, if it's got edit, uh, they're not going to be able to see it. Um, oh, it's already popped it up to HD. 1080 frames, 60 frames a second. Normally when, uh, when a video pops up here after you finish video editing, you will only do 30, 360p. Don't freak out, give it another 10 minutes, maybe half an hour, then you'll get the, uh, you'll get the higher, higher end stuff. So, so yeah. yeah, for what YouTube is, it's a free, Free service, you, you get you put your videos up, your mates get to see them. It's 
you know, it's a wonderful thing. You might not get 100% video quality, but you're getting this wonderful service, lots of data, and uh, lots of abilities to do things for free, so the people that complain about it are just bitches. You know, if you want something that's going to give you ridiculous video quality, and, and you're going to have to pay for it. And um, the people that complain about this are definitely not going to be paying for it, because they're bitches. Here we go. Here's another little trick with FreeMac. Um, I've got one video processing. Uh, I want to start processing the next one. All I have to do is uh, click on FreeMac and it'll open me another FreeMac screen. And I can start doing my next one straight away. I don't have to wait for that last one to uh, finish editing. So I can move on to my next piece and I can start clipping and clopping on that one. So this is why I'm using the FreeMake to uh, edit it, the video review or video editors is that uh, this part of the video I'm editing at the moment I'm saving and I can save it at 3.6 gigabytes or I can save it as 51 megabytes. And for those of you who are on a limited data allowance 51 megabytes sounds a lot better than 3 gig. Video quality will not be anywhere near as good, but it's just a video review and uh, fantastic video quality of beautiful scenery isn't isn't the case here. So yeah, there you go.